By the end of last year, each new celebrity death or political upheaval was greeted with, ugh, so 2016. For many, though, the dawn of 2017 brought some hope. Aside, of course, from 2016's delightful hangovers, the election of Donald Trump, the rise of the far right, Brexit, terrorism, foreign wars, human rights abuses and numerous other calamities. The point is that last month saw more progressive unity and grit than the previous 12 combined, the West's counter-revolution may be creeping into view. But while many people don't have the time and resources to attend protests every week or make bold calls for a general strike, small acts of resistance can still make a difference. So, here are eight easy steps to becoming more politically engaged. Small acts of kindness. Everyday human interaction is undervalued, but as homelessness rises in the UK in ominous tandem with hate crimes, something as simple as a smile seems more necessary than ever. Mancunians took such spirit further by enlisting the humble pillow to combat anti-homeless spikes. The metal installations, designed to stop rough sleeping, give a whole new meaning to the term brutalist architecture. Sidestepping the nastiness was estate agent Jenny Platt, who told the Manchester Evening News that the cushions were used to maintain access to a spot where people can keep warm and sheltered. Mounting pressure threatened such a PR disaster for property agents GVA that they removed the spikes, showing that simple acts of kindness can be successful and rendering the company's spending pointless. Coordinate with others. Thumping alt-right figureheads has been deemed a legitimate tactic by some, but an endearing display of organized tolerance it is not. Contrast that with crowds gathering to welcome those affected by Trump's travel ban in American airports, and you have to conclude that public opinion is more likely to be swayed by positive displays of unity than random acts of defiance. The two are not mutually exclusive, but the sense of a movement is only possible when people communicate, and any action's effectiveness will be doubled if repeated by a friend elsewhere. Stunts, Signs and Slogans Dr. Matt Perry, an expert in protest, explains how Dutch, French, and American activists in the 1960s made stunts their thing. He notes how a pig was made a presidential candidate in the United States, while slogans, mainly imparted through graffiti, were central to their strategy the hippie version of a Tony Blair soundbite, if you will. It is testament to their power that Perry suggests France's May 1968 protests were remembered more for the slogans graffitied on the Sorbonne than the fact that they nearly brought down the French government. While number Teresa the appeaser does not have quite the same gravity as Dobing it is forbidden to forbid on walls, such language provides useful groundwork for influencing public opinion. Likewise, Banner drops around the country which sought to register opposition to Trump's inauguration raised awareness and restricted the normalization of his politics. Be ingenious. Two years ago, Spanish protesters organized a demonstration with a difference, no one was actually there. Instead, thousands of holograms marched through the streets. Such bizarre action has a novelty X factor, an essential tool in the battle for our seemingly ever-diminishing attention spans. You would probably need heaps of tech nerdery to achieve such a feat, but creativity remains queen, and spreading a message through tech even if it's a rude one is manageable. Be memorable. From the many witty anti-Trump banners from protests around the world, this one reading super callous fragile racist sexist Nazi POTUS, sticks in the mind more than most. A darker example is that of the American student Emma Sulkoese who carried a mattress around her university campus to symbolize the burden of her alleged rape. Boycott and boycott bans. It's all too easy for the right to scream intolerance or hypocrisy when leftists ban and censor. And frankly, they are correct as exemplified by the violent shutting down of a recent speech in Berkeley. Boycotts, though, are a different story and give individuals genuine power. Ethical shopping is about as easy as getting Trump to tweet sensibly, but it's surely worth a go. The same mantra applies to a national union of students' attempt at sabotaging the latest shambolic education reforms by boycotting the National Student Survey. Likewise, the mass deletion of Uber apps is hardly earth-shattering on the surface, but a $3 million compensation fund is a surprisingly fruitful result. Show Solidarity 
elderly citizens who didn't fancy day after day of violent clashes during the Chilean winter of 2011-2013 devised a novel method of showing solidarity with student demonstrators. While young people gathered to protest, other Chileans stood outside banging pots and pans, not only creating a carnival atmosphere but also the perception of mass popular support. In the UK, Many campaigners for free education still wear red squares of fabric in reference to the successful 2012 Quebec student protests, while activists began wearing safety pins following the Brexit vote to make immigrants to the UK feel welcome. Such support boosts morale and starts conversation, if nothing else. Copy things from history. Original ideas are rare, but there are numerous long-forgotten forms of protest, often bordering on the weird and wacky to take inspiration from. Enthused by an initiative stretching back to 1980, Exeter activist Chris Borage Barney helped found a group who cook and hand out free food in his local high street. Food Fight was partly inspired by Food Not Bombs, a group of independent collectives that give out free vegetarian food while raising awareness of political issues, he tells me. If food is not your thing, then there are all sorts of other spheres with scope to help those in need. Half the battle, according to Borage Barney, is in providing a space where conversation can occur something that cooking neatly covers. In the atomist society we currently live in, many people may not have regular contact with others, and people seem to appreciate being able to chat. Indeed, activists could do worse than recycling old tactics in an effort to make this year a tad less abysmal than last.